Hey boys and girls, sports fans, it's Dan here. We're at uh, SAP Tech Ed 2013 um, in sunny Las Vegas, although it's not really sunny when you're stuck in a hotel, you'd agree, eh? Right? Anyway, I'm with Dan Summers, CEO of Warwick Analytics. The last time we met was March, I think, this year, wasn't That's it? That's right, yeah. Right. And you're part of the SAP startup program, you're working on predictive analytics, um, all tied up with uh, root cause analysis, which is pretty. Uh, cool stuff. Let's just recap on that. So, uh, you know, wh where did you, where did you come from? How is this coming together? Okay. So, very quickly, uh, there was a, some technology from Warwick University, yep. and we um, uh, invested in the business. We, in an 18 months, turned it into product software. We launched a beta, and then we met SAP, mm -hmm. and that was probably about. Uh, 14, 15 months ago, okay. um, and since then we, well, we are where we are, which we can talk about. Yeah, later. sure, sure, sure. So at the time that we met, you, you had sort of like the beginnings of a, that's right. of a proof of concept, right? That's right? And I remember seeing this and thinking, wow, that's seriously cool. Um, spoke to the guys at SAP, I know that they picked up on the story, so, you know, where are you up to today? So we've, um, we've come a long way, I think, even in the last six months, yeah. it always feels like, um, you know, every six months there's just a huge... Um, um, things that we've solved and then we look forward and then we go, okay, where's the next? But if we look back for the last six months, we've developed a product, it's called Sigma Guardian. Right. It's out there, it's been technically validated from it by SAP, okay. which itself was an interesting exercise yeah. and we're now out in the marketplace. Okay, certified to run on HANA, right? Correct. Okay, yeah. fine. Now, as I understand it, they are helping you go to market. Yes. And so they've given you, or worked with you rather, to generate a certain number of leads. What? How far are you along with us? I mean, how many leads would you say are worthwhile following at the moment or hot? Yeah, so I would say there's, um, being quite conservative, probably half a dozen hot leads. Yep. There's probably another 10 or 20 that are, that are warm. Right. And there's quite a lot that we've generated ourselves that we have worked together with SAP. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're coming from two different angles yep. to give a solution as well. Okay, fine. And... You, I understand, are now quite a fan of the startup program, yeah? I, I am definitely a convert. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess you came to it pretty skeptically in, one, uh, in the early stages, yeah? So, two th absolutely, Dennis. So, the first thing is, uh, I was completely ignorant of, of HANA, really, um, up to about sort of a year and a half ago, I have yeah, to be completely common. honest. Um, the second thing was SAP, really, you know, startups, really. Mm -hmm. uh, my previous company, my previous existence, dealing with big companies, SAP included was not fun mm -hmm. and I can happily say that anyone who has that point of view mm. I can talk to and uh, try and persuade them otherwise. Okay, but the, the, the key here though is, is that yes there's a technology fit but B you have a solution that has broad appeal for a market that SAP wants to, to play in, right? Absolutely, it's yeah. got to be win-win and even with the startup program and us believing that there is a good fit it's the account executives who have got, or they're in their comfort zone, they've got a big deal. Why would they let a startup come in to augment a deal? Why would they even consider that? And the fact that some have considered it is a testament to everyone working as a team. And as you're alluding to, there is a strong fit. Okay, cool. So we're at this almost, we, we, we can see the money, right? <laughs> <laughs> we can see it, it's tantalizingly close. Right. We know what enterprise sales, the sales oh, cycles yeah. can be like, yeah. but uh, we're far more advanced than we ever thought that we'd be in our business planning. Okay. And um, yeah, fingers crossed, we're kind of looking probably at Q1, Q, Q4, Q1, I think, conservatively by the end of that to have a, a win that we can talk about. Okay, so another six months' time, we can talk again, and you'll have an even broader smile on your face, yeah? I hope so. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. great story, boys and girls. Come and see the startup program.